We're at the AFCO Open this week on Lake Dardanelle. There's a lot of boats out here today, and I'm pretty excited to be here. I've never been in a tournament this big. The big ones are here. I mean, there's big fish in this lake. There's big bags to be caught. Got him, we got one. There he is, right there. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Holy crap. That's a big old spot right there. It's time for the second stop of the season on the Bass Pro Shops Dude. Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Over 400 of the nation's top collegiate anglers have made their way to Russellville, Arkansas and Lake Dardanelle to compete for over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies, as well as double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Arkansas Tech, Remington and Jade with five for 13.33. Gets these guys on up into the top three. Third place, Brock and Dylan from Drury. Right here, folks, pay attention. 1556, new leaders, 2022 AFCO Collegiate Bass Open, Matt and John Foster. To best this field of elite anglers, teams will need to catch a quality limit on day one. Who can bring in a big bag and set themselves apart from the rest of the field on the first day of competition? Find out next. That's our new leaders right there. Big University of Montevallo, 24-96. National champions, Wallace State, Briar and Clinton. Welcome in to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. The second stop of the season takes us to Lake Darnell in Russellville, Arkansas where cooler fall temperatures and biting bass are waiting to greet this elite field of over 400 college anglers. The weather's getting cooler, and I think, honestly, for me, I feel like that's making our bite better, because I feel like the fish are starting to uh, eat more shad. And every time uh, we go in the back of these uh, sloughs and stuff, there's a ton of shad. Shad will be the name of the game during a textbook fall fishing event on this Arkansas River fishery. Lake Darnell offers a vast playing field for anglers to go out and fish their strengths. From shallow vegetation to rocks, wood cover, and more, there is an abundance of structure for anglers to target to get bites. Uh, we're going to make a long run today uh, to start out the morning, kind of depending on how that goes. Um, we're just going to base our game plan from there, so if we get a solid start, uh, We'll stay in that general direction. If uh, morning's a bust, then we'll come back up and, and see what happens. The AFCO Collegiate Bass Open is a two-day traditional five bass limit event. Anglers will be going out each day to bring back the largest bag of fish they can, and the team with the highest cumulative two-day total weight will win. Over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies will be awarded, as well as double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year, presented by Abu Garcia. Yeah, we're in first right now. We've got, I think, 3,000 point lead. Um, the bash, we were able to get a couple big fish to keep us up there. Uh, it's just, we really needed a couple high, or two high finishes this tournament to stay up there, and then we're going to move forward going into January and February and see if we can get some finishes. So that's where we usually lose our, our lead because we, we'll struggle early in the year, but we'll see if we can change that this year. Adrian College enters this event in first place with a more than 3,000 point lead as the team from Michigan tries to win its first ever title for Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Trailing behind them in second and third are multiple two-time School of the Year winners in the University of Montevallo and McKendree University. We're sitting in second place. We're hoping for uh, two boats inside the top ten. We had two last year. Uh, this is where we usually start the ball and get it rolling in this time of the year and plan to win another one. We're setting third school of the year. Um, we're, uh, it's, it's decently, it's still decent where are we, so we've got a lot of ground to make up, but I feel like we can do it. And We always have guys finishing at the top of uh, every tournament, so I feel like uh, we have the, the background to do well and uh, capitalize on school of the year points, especially in this one. So. Coming up next on this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, we go out onto Lake Dardanelle and begin our on-the-water coverage. But before that, we introduce you to one of the latest award-winning items from AFCO. Always exciting to win some awards. This year we won 
Best of category with our cold weather techno apparel. This is with our barricade suit. It's been a really popular suit the last couple years. This is the new green acid color uh, colorway. All new custom pattern we, we built in house. Another key feature is our speed vent hood. Moving on down to the cuffs, we have a great double dry cuff system here. We have a plier pocket standard, like all the other bottoms with AFCO, it's a Cordura line pocket. And we're also reinforcing all the right areas, be it on the knees or on the back side. So make sure you guys check out the new barricade suit from AFCO. We'll return to Russellville, Arkansas and Lake Dardanelle for more action shortly. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to our College Bass Fishing YouTube page. Welcome back to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. We go out onto Lake Darnell now to start our on-the-water coverage for day one of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. Let's begin by checking in with the number one ranked team in the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, Adrian College. He started out with top water. I think we actually didn't catch one in practice on top, uh, but I think we're going to get a bigger bite doing that. Uh, best bait we found back here is a chatterbait throwing it through these pads and uh, around this river grass. Uh, we were catching some on a swim jig. Some on a swim jig, but bigger bites came on the chatterbait. So I think it's just making them react. And I think they're seeing a thousand swim jigs back here too. It's gonna get close, eh? Dude, that's a long spot. Holy cow. All day, dude. 15 incher. Let's go. Dude, that's a big spot. That's a spot, yeah. ain't it? Look yeah, that. it is a spot. Holy crap. That's a big old spot right there. Chunky sucker. Coming into the second Association of Collegiate Anglers double points event of the season, Adrian College holds a 3,000 plus point lead over the second ranked team. Adrian has never finished the year ranked number one and is looking to claim its first ever Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia this season. Um, yeah, school of the year, we're uh, leading it right now. I think, what, we got like 2,000 point lead? Yeah, right? 2,000. Yeah. Um, Which means, isn't a whole lot. No. Especially after this tournament worth uh, 1750 I think it is, mm -hmm. right? Um, but, yeah, it means a lot to us. We've actually, uh, we've never really been able to close in the end. We always seem to end up somewhere between third and fifth, so. Just being able to piece together a whole season would be nice and get that first school of the year for us. What? Flip them. That's a good one. It's going to be close. I think that's 14. It's going to be close, though, yeah. Dude, on, on the two. two. All day. Better. Number two? Number two. Let's go, baby. For now, this is number two. Yeah, we just bumped over this uh, rip rat bank and I picked up that stupid tube and I don't know, forecast in there. Line just started swimming and we got number two in there now. Good deal. From the top ranked team in the nation, we now go to second-ranked University of Montevallo in the duo of Cal Culpepper and Bo Browning. Ran up here in the back of one of the big major creeks and uh, kind of in the back end, it's a big flat, flat back into this creek and it's just got a ditch that kind of runs out through here with some harder spots that are around the edge of it. Found some fish back here in practice, uh, some good quality. We caught, you know, a couple of them and seemed like they were a lot more there look, using our graphs, but uh, just kind of wanted to pull back in here and see if we couldn't get off to a, a decent start. And then, like I said, go head hunting, looking for looking for some bigger bites, but they're still around. They're not as active as they were the other day. That cold night might have got them, got one. I got him, don't worry. That might be a keeper. As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted, they're just back here chasing big balls, bait around through these ditches and stuff. and. Uh, that's true. Check him. I'm gonna check him. Yeah, he's long. He's 
skinny. Uh, they got to be 14. He's not going to make the club, but something to get the blood flowing anyways this morning. But uh, but no, they're just chasing these big balls of bait around out here in this, these ditches and stuff and hemming them up on these hard spots and bends and things of that nature. Uh, it is nice to get a bite like that right out of the gate just to kind of let you know they're still here, you know, the, the fish are. Representing third-ranked McKendree University, Lane Stevens and Colson Head opted to lock through this morning and fish the Arkansas River just below Lake Darnell. That bite did not pan out, and now the pair is using valuable time to lock back up to Lake Darnell in hopes of filling out their limit. Yeah, we didn't catch them this morning. The current was kind of being weird, and the, the lake level was weird too. Um, we caught some fish yesterday in the afternoon pile fishing out deep, so we're gonna run some brush piles and hopefully catch a couple, and then uh, just wait on the afternoon bite. We're kind of in that mid-morning lull, so I'm hoping those those piles will will stay consistent. They've typically been better when it when it does get tough in the afternoon like this, um, or I guess that that mid-morning bite, but. Yeah, we're just gonna go play with some deep fish, see if we can't catch a couple, and then uh, see what happens from there. We'll return to Russellville, Arkansas and Lake Dardanelle for more action shortly. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to our College Bass Fishing YouTube page. Welcome back to day one coverage of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open at Lake Darnell in Russellville, Arkansas. We go back out to the team of Cal Culpepper and Bo Browning from second ranked Montevallo as they've switched up spots and quickly boated another keeper bass. Moving back to a uh, big flat, but Big flat that just I've fished for years and years now. It's just got a lot of cover on it, stuff to throw at, and there seems to be a population of fish back here. Uh, we've managed to catch two keepers to get our day, day started. So hopefully we can keep the momentum rolling. One of them's a good one too, so a good start. Okay. Yeah, big one. <clears throat> Nicely done. I'm big one, but number three. Number three. Number three. Solid one, anyway. I'm sure you got one in the box. Yeah, like I mean, like Bo's been talking about. There's a it's a bunch of isolated cover out here on the spot back here and just winding the scatterbait around. That one I hit a piece of wood and as soon as I popped it over it he knocked slack in it. So we got biting fish in the area. Just gotta keep picking this stuff apart and uh, hopefully we'll come out of here with a decent bag and uh, we can start running around trying to look for a big one. From second ranked Montevallo, we go back on over to third ranked McKendry University. Lane Stevens and Colson Head made the decision to lock back up to Lake Darnell earlier today. They've since filled out a limit and are looking to call. Well, my line's there, so I didn't know it yeah, I don't think it's gonna help. No, I don't think so either. I'm trying to get him in the... Just drop him down. There's like, there's like 20 of them falling it. I think last you guys talked to us, we were coming back up and uh, we've just been deep fishing in the, uh, the main pool and some offshore stuff that we found. And uh, it's really kind of a, a timing deal. Um, we pulled up on our first group and uh, didn't catch anything, set on for maybe 10 minutes and pulled to our second group. And I think we doubled up our first cast and our second cast in there on keepers. And then um, just kind of been plucking at them since. They're, they're, they're pushing bait under a, a uh, it's like a big ledge under, I mean, it's not a deep ledge, but it is a ledge underwater. They're just pushing bait up onto the shelf and there's a bunch of piles and stuff that they're just sitting in dormant. We'll return to Russellville, Arkansas and Lake Dardanelle for more action shortly. 
In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to our College Bass Fishing YouTube page. Welcome back to day one coverage of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open at Lake Darnell in Russellville, Arkansas. With time winding down here on the first day of competition, we check in with last year's winner of this event, Keith Pinnell from LSU. Fishing with a different partner this go around, the duo is picking apart shallow cover to get bites. Yeah. <laughs> more have been real slow, but I mean, most of our practice more than except for one, I think. We didn't catch a keeper until probably 10 o'clock. There he is, right there. That's a little better fish. Not much better. Dang. He'll, I think he'll keep. He'll be, he'll be close for sure. It's always nice to catch fish when you're talking. <laughs> you put that uh, ball back yep. up? Let's see if he'll cut. He's gonna squeak in there. Number two. Can't get another one. Only a few more minutes remain before teams have to return to Lake Darnell State Park for weigh-in. Though the team from Southwestern Michigan College hasn't had the day they hoped for, their luck could turn with just a few key bites. It's kind of frustrating from the start, like just losing a couple key ones and then just not being able to really locate too many fish has been kind of frustrating too, but it's fishing, that's what it's all about is trying to find them. Oh, you got one? You need to crowd us some more. <laughs> he is over, mouth is closed, and he is over that 14 inch mark, so he will be real. Heck yeah, bud. Sneak in here real quick. I'm in there. Okay. With the on the water action concluding, we go back now to Lake Darnell State Park to see who can claim the day one lead at the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. Arkansas Tech, Remington and Jade with five for 13-33. Gets these guys on up into the top three. Third place, Brock and Dylan from Drury. 13-54, guys, that's a good bag of fish. That jumps you guys all the way up to second, man. Lane Stevens and Colson Head from third-ranked McKendree University made the right calls here on day one to land themselves in second place overall. Uh, long day, honestly. Um, made some bad decisions, or not bad decisions this morning. It just didn't work. Um, we kept our heads in it and just kind of just kind of rolled with the flow throughout the day and, and stumbled onto something that uh, we practiced on, and it kind of just worked out. So um, looking forward to doing it again tomorrow. Arkansas Tech. Matt and John Foster, they do have five. 13.33, the mark to beat. Are y'all going to want to try a big fish? He says yes. We'll try it out in a minute. Right here, folks, pay attention. 15.56, new leaders, 2022 AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. Matt and John Foster. Matt Higby and John Foster Case from Arkansas Tech University here in Russellville, Arkansas, claim first place following day one of tournament competition. Their fellow teammates, Remington and Jade, are in third. First through 20th are separated by just over five and a half pounds, meaning every bite will count on day two. Yeah, yesterday we pulled up on one of our spots and uh, first cast on it, I caught a four pounder. Uh, I told myself and him, I said, if we catch that fish tomorrow, we'll have a chance at it. And we pulled up on it this morning. He caught a four pounder on it. And soon after that, we caught a three pounder, ran around, came back to it later in the day, caught another four pounder off of it. So we did what we came to do today and uh, we couldn't be happier. We, we put ourselves in a shot to win this thing, so. That'll conclude this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. 
Next time, we'll bring you day two coverage of the AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open and crown a winner of this prestigious event. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This has been a Careco TV production.